What's going on guys, Krakow here and welcome back to Dark Souls. Uh, today I have a little bit of a different oh. setup. Aha. Let's talk so to this guy one more time. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Before we do anything else. Uh, so you press yes. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Sure, who the hell wants to be lonely, so... Yeah, so we press yes one more time. Well then, take this. And there we go, so we got one white sign soapstone, which comes in handy. In and today... Land. I'm sorry I'm talking over this, but this is... You can just read it off the screen. Uh, today I have a little bit of a different setup, so that my neck is not as strained as it was uh, before. Okay, that's... Yeah, I'm sorry, we don't have to. This is just some stuff we don't have to talk to him anymore actually let's talk to him one last time we are amidst strain the very there's no but to some of yeah the okay never mind so he basically just talks about cooperation and multiplayer and stuff like that uh which i will get into so today uh my setup is a bit different to put the strain off my neck uh, let's take a swig of the estes flask uh my girlfriend actually is holding the microphone in her hand and the pop filter so say hi <laughs> no, that's not saying hi. Just say hi. Say hi to my subscribers. Hi. There we go. Uh, so she's holding the mic like directly in front Should of my face. $10 yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, so it's it, it's a bit better for me to play, uh, but still, it, it's kind of weird. Oh, actually, yeah, this is a nice sequence. Oh, I still got burned. Nice. I don't think you can get away from that burn really, but yeah, a cool ass, uh, sweet ass. Uh, Red Dragon, so let's get the hell out of here. So actually there's two paths where, which we can take. Um, we can go down here. Actually we have to go down here for a second. Uh, because I will show you something. And, and we have to level up. Let's not forget that. Uh, so we kick this ladder down. And of course, uh, show your support and your love by clicking the thumbs up button. I would appreciate that very much. So... Smack the living crap out of that like button and leave you guys' comments about well, fucking anything. Uh, so let's go level up. Uh, we are going to be using the claymore, uh, the you know a big ass sword. So we need we need a lot of strength for the claymore. So let's put yeah I think you need 16 strength for claymore and since we're going to have a dexterity build, let's put a point into dexterity and a point into vitality and that should be good. Hey, wake up! Thank you. My girlfriend's falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she's acting basically as a microphone stand today. Um, okay, so let's climb this ladder. And this makes things a lot easier. If you guys remember this bonfire, we can just go up here and continue being badass uh, pretty much. So the reason why you don't really want to go down uh, this way is because there are... Let me show you. There are two rats... And if this happens, that means somebody reinforced the Estus Flask. Uh, so we don't really want to go up here because there's a dude right there that's ready to basically slice our ass off. And there's two rats which actually carry, I think, plague. Or they can get you poisoned. And yeah, you don't want that as well. And there's this cool ass, uh, cool ass red dragon. So we're not going to go there. And there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing there of interest. So we don't want to go there. Okay. So let's do this. Let's be sneaky. And our dragon takes care of everybody on the bridge. So in order to get this dragon off uh, this little um, tower. So we can go right. Yeah. We have to wait a bit. So how are you guys doing? Let me see. Yep. <laughs> Still kind of dead. Look at this face. Imagine waking up next to this in the morning. Or actually next to this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so once the dragon jumps off, this is your chance to actually run. Run for your life. Run for your life. Keep running, keep running, because that asshole might turn around and actually blast you with fire. Can you hold this microphone, like, steady, please? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so you sit here. Stop it. So you light the bonfire here. It makes things a whole lot easier. And I think he was ready to like blast us with fire but that doesn't matter and this is one of the coolest like animations here i mean i love watching that so cool and peaceful but okay enough about that 
nothing here, just wallowing, um, you know, undeads and hollows or whatever. So let's put our tryhard helmet on. And let's go get our awesome, awesome sword. Just a couple of enemies, they're lightweight. Nothing is really gonna happen here. Oh shit, <laughs> that guy's booking it. Okay, so let Oh crap, one more? Okay. One more? Okay, there we go. Uh, so this guy again is a bit tricky. You kind of have to... Okay, that didn't work out well. Kind of have to just kick him. Just wait for the... Uh, kick. There we go. And don't worry if you get hit with one arrow. It doesn't matter. But on another... Yeah, there we go. Here is our claymore. But there is actually... Should we kill him? Uh, I don't want to get the attention of the other guys. <coughs> okay. So, uh, there is a tricky part coming up, which I am not looking forward to, because I am contemplating about what to do. Uh, so let's get a point into... yeah, into vitality. There's a thing that I am contemplating. There's gonna be a big, big enemy. Actually, let's put our hood on. I think it looks better. And we actually got a new shield, and I want to show you this. It's, uh, you know, it's a pretty good shield. Give me one second because my girlfriend's phone decided to spaz out. Let me just mute this for a second. Thank you very much. Next time, please turn off your phone during the commentary. I don't have a movie theater. Yes, it is. Okay, so uh, let me just get rid of the shield. Let me put the Dragon Crest shield and let's go fight another enemy. And this time, the enemy will be rather, rather big. Okay, so let's get out of, uh, let's switch our weapon to our handy dandy claymore, and this is it. This is our new weapon. It looks kind of badass. Actually, it is badass. So let's sit down right here just for the sake if I die, because I may die. Uh, because there is a, there is a, well, you guys will see. Nice. There's a huge fucking metal boar right in front of our face um, and there's a gate open in the back so what I will try to do I mean I might die but I will try to do that is run upstairs and actually get behind the gate so that we won't have to go through the bottom and we can make things a whole lot easier for ourselves okay are you ready and I might die here and lose 550 souls but that's okay okay one two three let's go let's book it Oh, fuck me, I forgot that I'm super heavy. Oh god, I might not be able to make it. Oh man, that was stupid. No! Oh, yeah, we made it! Yes! So we have our basement key. And this door actually kills the enemies as well, if I recall correctly. Okay, this is not... This is not the way I imagine things, but you know what? It's better than nothing. You just have to really be super fucking careful because one more shot and I am a dead mofo. So let me just take a swig of my handy dandy Estus flask. And let's continue. Oh, boom, bitch. Boom, look at that. Cut his nipples straight out. Pick up the long sword, we don't need that. Okay, so now we have a dilemma. Because I really want to be fast, and this is not fast rolling. So we might have to get rid of something. Is this gonna make the difference? No, it's not. This is gonna make a difference? Yeah, now, we, now we're good. So, because it really, believe me guys, if you play Dark Souls, fast rolling is super important. So again, we have a dilemma. Which way to... Actually, no we don't. Actually, yeah we do. Which way to go? Do we go... Actually, fuck me. I got his attention. Let me try to backstab him if I can, or just parry him. Bitch. Boom. Did that one shot kill him? Yeah. Okay, we got a boulder shield, which is not bad at all. Let me show you guys it. I mean, it's not a bad shield at all, and you can parry with it. You know what? I think we might actually end up using it. Let me see the stats. Mm. Uh, I mean, it looks badass, but I'm not sure it's better than the Dragon Crest Shield. Okay, never mind about that. And we have the Halberd, which is another weapon which I will show you guys. 
It's. Um, I. I think my girlfriend is getting a bit tired of holding that microphone. Are you? Yeah, uh, so this is a cool weapon as well, but we don't want to use it because, well, I don't want to use it. Get the claymore, and let's take this way, because it's better. Alright, is there anything out? Oh, fuck me. That was close, I can't. Oops. Okay, so this guy has the rape. No, he doesn't, he had... Oh, nice, two for two. Two for two. Oh, and if you hear this ring of the bell, that means somebody actually rang the first bell of awakening. Okay, get out of my way. One, two. I mean, this weapon is so badass. It might, you might seem like you're moving slowly, but believe me, you're not. There's a, there's another shield out there, which we are going to pick up on the next episode. Uh, just not now. I want to get to the next bonfire and be safe. Okie dokie. Let's go down here. There's a couple of enemies here. Okay, we'll backstab number one. And there's another archer, like, to the side, so you really want to be careful with this. I mean, I freaking love Dark Souls, man. I cannot wait for Dark Souls 2 to come out. I mean, she can tell you that when Dark Souls, when I got Dark Souls, there's, like, that's all I played. Yes? No, it's good. Okay, so let's get this guy two-handed. One, two, and he's dead. Uh, so I'm going to make this episode rather short. There's only two more things we have to do because, yeah, um, human microphone stand is getting tired. So we have to run to our bonfire. But we got, we got a lot accomplished today, I think. We got our weapon, our main weapon. We picked up a couple of badass shields and a badass weapon, so... Okay, so here's another bonfire. So we just take a rest right here. And I will actually show you in two seconds what the Homeward Bone does. Okay, if you're gonna yawn, just don't yawn next to the microphone because it's gonna pick up really bad. Okay, so this guy, if you hear this noise, this is our first blacksmith. Um, yeah, yeah, first, first blacksmith, so let's meet him. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of a store app. If you require smithing, then speak to me. Okay, so that's pretty fucking straightforward. Learn gesture. Okay, and we can modify equipment. Okay. Reinforce equipment. There we go. But in order to do that, first of all, we need souls, which we have. But we also need titanite shards, and we don't have that. So, that being... We can't do anything, but for the last thing in this episode, we're actually gonna, going to fight a Tower Knight. Uh, on the next episode, we're going to go over there as well, just not on this one. This episode is pretty much straightforward, just get the fuck out of here, meet the blacksmith, go to the bonfire, stop yawning into my microphone, and that's pretty much it. Okay, can you hold it up a little bit? No, well, not like that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hold it, like this. I'm holding it. Holding what? The mic? Oh, okay. Okay, hold it. Seriously. Thank you. Okay, so since we sat down next to the bonfire, our enemies are actually going to respawn. Alright. And if if this gets like, I don't know, some sort of amount of likes, a good amount of likes, I'm gonna make my girlfriend play some Dark Souls. Yes? For my subscribers. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, this is a pretty badass maneuver right here look at this boom nothing gets up from that okay so in order to fight our last enemy for this episode uh let's coax him out and you have to be careful because there's a oh fuck so let's coax him out out there he's gonna follow us he has no choice get your ass out here and look at this i mean this guy seems scary but he's like a kitty cat and yeah he can't even break our shield you just have to be really careful pretty much I'm not sure we can backstab him, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. 26, oh fuck me. I might have over, uh, over exaggerated there. Let's see Pyromancy. Oh my god, Pyromancy is the way to go. Get your ass out of here. Oh crap, he can heal. No, 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 no more drinks for you. Is that gonna hit? No, it's not. Stop it. Oh, 
Oh fuck. Boom! Just like that, and I think we're gonna acquire a Titanite shard. Yes, we will. So for the last thing, uh, Homeward Bone. Return to the last bonfire. Don't <laughs> yawn into my mic, please. My hand is shaking. Okay, wait. Hold this steady. Uh, so this is actually, this helps us to return to the last bonfire, which saves us a lot of time. And this is it. So let's rest up. Level up. Let's put some vitality. Let's put some endurance. And let's put some... Well, that's all we can really do. Okay, there we go. And actually, you know what? Since we have one humanity, let's reverse Halloween. Just for a little bit, just for this episode, so that I can show you how in instantaneously we can become. Look at this. Look at this. Now we are total badasses. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you on the next episode of Dark Souls. And let me just do my signature wave. Farewell.